What's up guys? Today we're going to learn how to research on hits allowed props. This is a pitcher prop if you aren't familiar with it. And what we're going to do is same thing. We're going to propositions and then check the hits allowed tab. And then what we're just going to do is go to the last 10 and make sure that's selected down. And I usually like to look for the top five to 10 players. I already did my research for this this morning. I was interested in Stroman, but this is going to be a game played in London and the conditions there are much different than they are in America. So I'm going to stay away from Stroman. But one player that really piqued my interest was Tony Gonsolin. And the reason for this is because he's hit this line every single game this season, except one, which is his most recent game. And also last season, he hit this line every single game except two. Tony's a very good pitcher when it comes to not allowing hits, uh, which is basically the goal as any pitcher. And uh, he's been very dominant, especially at home. If we check his home stats right here, we click the home tab. We're going to check that he's only allowed six, six hits in one home game. And that was the most recent game. And in 2022, he only allowed one game with six hits. Every other game was not even over five hits. Every other game was four hits or less at home. So Tony's an excellent home pitcher. And as we saw from last season, that one game that he allowed six hits, he bounced back with three hits allowed the next three games. And this season, I do expect him to bounce back from his last poor home start. And one of the other reasons I like this is because he's going up against Houston Astros, who are doing decently, but they're not anything special as of recently. They have two players batting over 300 versus right-handed pitchers this season. Everyone else is in that 230 to 260 range, which is still all right. But I do think that Tony can... Have a good game against them. Off these numbers, it's not like everyone's batting 270 or above. And uh, against Tony, they haven't had many at-bats, only four total. But no one's gotten a hit against him. Uh, we don't have too much data to go off of against the individual matchups because Tony has not faced much of these Astros bats. But when we take a look at his stats at home on the season, last season, it all leans to a bounce-back start from him. And one of the other things I like about this is that his pitch count is usually capped around 90, sometimes even 80, even if he's having a good game. You see this one against Milwaukee. He only had three hits allowed, but they stopped them at 80 pitches. It's because they don't want to risk injury with Tony. So there's a good chance he only goes five innings, as he's done many times this season, which is even better, which means he just has to not allow more than one hit every inning on average, which I do think he's very capable of. And that's about it. If you guys want to lock that in, you can click add to my picks. It is a little bit juiced at minus 170. You could find something else to pair this with, uh, such as Dodgers money line or alternate spread. And you guys could click whatever book you want. The best odds right now are minus 170 on DraftKings. And uh, that's about it. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos like this. And download Outlier. Get your seven-day free trial to try all this out for yourself. I'll see you guys on the next video.